On today's episode of World of Micah, we are traveling to Walt Disney World to find the filming locations for the Mouseketeers at Walt Disney World, 1977. Let's take a closer look. By the way, before we get started on today's episode, this entire film can be seen on Disney Plus with the original commercials. Check it out. Now these type of episodes that the Walt Disney World Company would release on The Wonderful World of Disney were the exact episodes that I would watch when I was a kid and it made me want to learn about Walt Disney World. It made me want to see the parks. So this video is literally one of the reasons why I do this. This is the very, very first shot actually right here, the side profile of Cinderella Castle for the opening of the wonderful world of Disney. Once Walt Disney World opened, they used the Cinderella Castle side profile instead of Disneyland to promote Walt Disney World. I just wanted to throw that in here. Now this episode premiered November 20th, 1977. The episode before that was Halloween Hall of Fame and the episode after this was from all of us to all of you. And Halloween Hall of Fame and from all of us to all of you are two of my favorite Wonderful World of Disney specials because it has to deal with Halloween and Christmas. So throw this in the mix and I'm pretty happy. But basically Disney decided, hey, we're gonna bring the Mickey Mouse Club, a new version of the Mickey Mouse Club like we had in the 50s here to promote Walt Disney World. And what's interesting about that is they would do it again in the late 80s when the Disney MGM Studios would open. They would have the all new Mickey Mouse Club. Now we first meet our Mouseketeer friends aboard the original monorail they had here at the Magic Kingdom. Now they were in monorail red. And do you remember the original song, the opening song they sang on the monorail together? All right, everybody, this is our stop. Just like in the Mouseketeers go to Walt Disney World, you can totally tell that the doors have changed on the monorail since 1977, as well as the carpet on the ground. All right, let's find all the spots here at the Contemporary Resort. So the Mouseketeers stayed here at the Contemporary Resort for a night. Now back in 1977, Bay Lake Tower here, the DVC Resort, did not exist. There was a smaller version of the Contemporary Rooms down here, just like they have on the other side here of the Contemporary. The buildings look like this. And the tennis courts over here are in the same spot that they were. We're gonna go match up one spot because they did show the tennis courts. So yeah, when they built Bay Lake Tower, they basically removed those buildings and built what you know today. And there's the tennis court right there with the trees in the background. And then she would have left the gate and would have walked this way back towards the contemporary. And none of this was here, the other buildings were here. Savage Garden playing in the background as we walk down Bay Lake dock here. And I believe the dock they were on might have been this dock here. I'm sure this has been changed since 1977. But we're gonna match this up the best of our ability. Right here, you can see the Mouseketeers and the food set up and they were in their disco gear. <laughs> and they were waiting on Mr. Brown to come. They were gonna take a photo together. It all took place right here on Bay Lake. And then when she takes the photo, See the monorail coming through there underneath the bridge? That bridge didn't exist, so you could see the monorail. Bay Lake Tower didn't exist. Those buildings, like I was talking about earlier, those were there. But this is where she was taking the photograph. And then she took the photo of Mr. Brown and the rest of the Mouseketeers right here. And then someone was paging Mr. Brown and they actually had the pager on out here they don't do that at walt disney world they don't page people but they did and the mouseketeers go to walt disney world and then the mouseketeers thought it was a good idea to push each other into bay lake they all went in one by one now obviously this this causes a a, a first riff in in their whole trip they all were having fun at one time and then they got mad at each other so they stormed back into the contemporary soaked and their, their, their 70s flair right in front of Miss Osborne, who's doing the, the journaling of the Mouseketeers, and she thinks she's getting the good drama. This is about the closest shot I can get of the contemporary unless you go into the pool area. But they zoomed in 
right on Mr. Brown's room, which was right up there. Now inside Steakhouse 71, it used to be called The Wave, and then before The Wave, this was actually where they had a fun center, and they had all kinds of games, and I believe bowling, and things like that in a movie theater. A lot has changed in that area, but we're gonna match up as best we can. We're not gonna actually go inside the restaurant because people are in there eating, but we can get close. So like I said, all the scenes with the pinball machine and everything took place here inside Steakhouse 71. I'm sure there might be a photo in here of when it was the fun center. I don't know. Or maybe some of the Mouseketeers photos. These are all from opening day here. But yeah, down here is where all of that took place. Now here the lobby, the lobby sure has changed the way everything looks, but this is where Mr. Brown was checking in. Right here, you can see how much really has changed. And then you bumped into Miss Osborne. And then around here, in this area where they have the eggs, I believe is where the Mouseketeers came storming in, soaking wet, and Miss Osborne thought she was getting the goods. All right, these next batch of photos we're gonna be matching up all take place here inside the Magic Kingdom Park. Right here you can see Dita running through this area and the boys looking for her. There used to be plants down here that they had on the ground. They do not have that anymore, but the buildings still, you know, match up. Architecture around here really doesn't change a whole lot, especially on Main Street USA. But right down here is where I guess they had those potted plants. Nothing like that exists here anymore. All the plants are up on the, the balconies of the second floors here on Main Street. Right here is where Miss Osborne found Mr. Brown and one of the Mouseketeers sitting there right here in front of Casey's corner. The chairs still are the same, but the umbrellas have changed colors, but this is where it took place, more or less. So Mr. Brown was down here with the, uh, the Mouseketeers, and then there were a group of Mouseketeers right here. All this still looks the same. Basically, Nita runs this way, straight towards the camera, and then runs right up here to the old Skyway buckets. That's where they were. And then she takes her Skyway journey all the way there. And the director got a little creative with this shot. They actually put the camera through that right there and got the point of view of Fantasyland, but from with that little design cut out. Right here, this is where Nita walks out. It said Tinker right there. Maybe Tinkerbell had a store over here back in those days. A few changes over here. This is where you park your strollers now. It's not an entrance, that door. But then she walked over to the Cinderella fountain. Yeah, Nita was right here in front of the fountain. And then she sat right there. It was kind of a low shot. And that's where she was upset about not having friends within Winnie the Pooh walked over and had a little moment right here and i'm not sure why but back in the 70s when this place first opened up they filmed a lot of scenes in the tomorrowland speedway for a lot of specials so many scenes took place down here in the tomorrowland international speedway long before tron space mountain was here though the next time you ride here just imagine you're hanging out with Mr. Brown and Miss Osborne and the Disco Mouseketeers. Now right up there on top of Space Mountain, there used to be a, a rocket ship, like you would ride and some astronauts in there, some people who were going to space like you. This is where Mr. Osborne and the Mouseketeers were hanging out. In fact, right over here is where they shot all the scenes with Mr. Brown and the Mouseketeers. Miss Osborne walks over, talks to him and says, let me take you on my favorite ride. And it's right over here, the old entrance to the Skyway bucket. That's what this is, below that bathroom. And right up here is where the Skyway bucket used to be. And this is where Miss Osborne and Mr. Brown got on the Skyway bucket. But boy, were those shots of inside Space Mountain in this special. Pretty incredible. You get to see exactly how it used to be. Two to one seat. 
Now, when Mr. Brown and Miss Osborne get on the Skyway bucket, not only do they pass by 20,000 leaves under the sea, but you can also see the top of the teacups here in Fantasyland. I was a little disappointed in the special. They didn't show the people mover at all. I figured, man, that would be a great scene. We didn't get a lot of attraction shots. And what a way to promote the park. Use some hip kids, some good songs, a little bit of comedy and show the park off. It'll make kids beg their parents to come to this place. And after all the arguing and all the deadlines and all the riffraff that happened, the Mouseketeers made it. They made it to the stage and they did their show. It took place right here. This castle has taken a few changes since the 70s, but nonetheless, it's always been here. And they actually did have the Mouseketeers here at Cinderella Castle in front of a live audience. And they did the songs and the numbers out here. And it all took place one evening, if you were so lucky to be a part of the filming here at the Magic Kingdom. Man, filming inside the Magic Kingdom was a little difficult today because I try my best, I strive to not show other people unless they're with me, you know, sometimes you can't help it. But yeah, that was, that was a little difficult trying to get all those shots and everything, but sorry if it was quick, but I really wanted to get this done. And uh, yeah, it was, it's packed, it's spring break. Hello. Now in the episode, the Mouseketeers stay not only at the Contemporary, but they stay a night at Fort Wilderness Campground. And the one thing the kids are like stupid stoked about is when they get on like the monorail, they're like immediately talking about going to River Country. River Country was still here. It was a brand new concept for the Walt Disney Company. And honestly, the, the scenes they show, show exactly how River Country was. We're gonna go over here and look and see what's left. There's pretty much nothing left. I gotta fix this. I got one strand of hair. Let's fix it. There we go. So let's see what's left <laughs> of River Country. And you know you love seeing the inside of the contemporary from back in the 70s. It's pretty cool, all the, the scenes they shot inside the actual buildings. I love it. All right, right here, it was river country. River country, big river country. The catchy song they sing. Right there's the uh, the tennis shoe tree. It's a little secret in the, the Disney community and, and cast members. But right there, that was river country. Nothing, I mean nothing, is left. They leveled this completely they were going to build another DVC area and I don't think that's actually happening but nothing remains from River Country so people have ventured in there many times in the past there's nothing worth seeing in there now I got to see River Country but I never got to visit River Country I came here with my grandparents and I remember us coming over in this area here by the beach and looking over and, and seeing everything and, you know, watching all the TVs and the resorts and stuff at night and seeing the clips. I remember it. And I remember when it sat here abandoned for so long and so many people went in and checked it out. And then I remember watching them literally claw at it and destroy everything. Same with Discovery Island. I remember hearing about it, but I never actually visited Discovery Island. I believe it was this side of the beach here is where the Mouseketeers had their, their camp stay overnight. And this is where they set up the, the tents and Mr. Brown asked Nita to tie the rope to something to hold the tents down. And well, she went and tied it to the, the van. <laughs> well, the van took off and pulled all the tents away. And so everyone got mad at Nita and that's where the conflict happened here in the show. So Nita gets mad because she thinks she doesn't have any friends. She gets on a little boat 
and she heads towards Discovery Island right there. And you can't even see the skyline of the Contemporary anymore because of how big Discovery Island has gotten. It is cool also to see the opening shots of Fort Wilderness and how this place looked back in 1977. So right here is Discovery Island, left abandoned from Disney to this day. And right over here, there are a few remains of the boat right there, the ship. So this is the spot right here with Nita and Discovery Island. How incredible. That's where it was right there. The wood doesn't lie. But yeah, this is uh, completely abandoned to this day. Right here, Discovery Island. Well, that does it for all the Magic Kingdom and Magic Kingdom Resort locations. Now I'm gonna hop in the car, drive over to Disney Springs for one location. It's two of the girls, I believe it was two of the girls, and Miss Osborne goes shopping. She tries to get to know the girls a little better at Disney Springs. Well, it was the Disney Village back in 1977. A whole lot different than what we know today. But let's, let's drive over to Disney Springs for that spot. Made it to Disney Springs. Let's go find those two locations. It was really only gonna be one location, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show some of the scenic shots here of Disney Springs because it has changed. This was not the paddlefish back then, but it was in the same spot. It is the same boat. And they had little boats all around here. They showed a few scenic shots of the Disney Village at the time. And then it kind of zoomed in straight ahead where the old pottery area used to be. And this is where Miss Osborne was trying to connect with some of the girls and get the scoop, the inside scoop of the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, back here, this area was used in the Disney Village Marketplace scenes. Right over here used to be a shop. It's right over here, Miss Mary Lee's Fashions. You can see right behind the girl, it says Fashions. Well, the girl saw a guy who was sitting kind of in this area, thought he was attractive. You can see this window in the background where he was sitting. They walk over and ask him if he likes the outfit. And then the two girls are sitting right here. Right there, it said apothecary on it. That was the apothecary. Those windows can be seen and they were sitting right here. Then Miss Osborne joins them and they all talk. It all happened right here. It's kind of cool. Now the guy gets up from the bench and walks over to his wife or girlfriend, and this is the building. They've extended this roof line since 77, but these windows here match up pretty well, and this is exactly where he would have been looking if he was sitting in the bench over there to the left. And then over here where Earl is, this was Miss Mary Lee's fashions at some point. Not sure if they did any changes here with the architecture, but this is it, right here, it's because of the, the windows there. And more or less, the roof line. Thought it was Goofy's Candy, but I can see where they just extended that. It used to be flat all the way across. And that's a wrap on Disney Springs. And that's it, mission accomplished here today. The Mouseketeers at Walt Disney World, 1977. Filming locations, possibly the first, probably the only, person who will ever do this well we came we saw we took care of business here today and i will see you guys on the next episode thanks for being my friend stay weird goodbye mm -hmm.